up guys and welcome back to another one Ooh, <laughs> oh my goodness it is uh, now it's 453 but your boy got up at 345 in the morning let me tell you I am a tired one today Woo -hoo. but we just got done loading a truck bed full of evergreen limbs we're doing something a little bit different today snow goose hunting but we're not laying out in white today we are gonna be putting an a-frame on the edge of a field with no structure around so we're not gonna there's not gonna be any trees around that it's gonna be under there's not gonna be a fence line I'm basically putting a bare a-frame on the edge of a field in the center of a section and we're gonna blind it up with evergreen limbs it's worked for us uh, the last two Canada hunts that we had at the end of the season uh, they didn't even they didn't even mind that a-frame being there with all the evergreen limbs on it so that's what we're doing today uh, we got five of us total we're gonna put out all the white full bodies, which is only about 12, 15 dozen. And then we're gonna sprinkle some socks through there. Sit out the old snows down low E collar out there and just let her eat. But I did wanna tell you, we still got the snow goose hoodies available. If you want one, I will link them down in the description below. Go over to the duckswaterfowl.com website and check out all of our snow goose apparel because we have a bunch. We're going to be a little crunch for time. Uh, luckily, the luckily, luckily, the ground's frozen enough to drive in on, but it's probably frozen enough for the stakes, for the decoy stakes to be a real pain in the butt. So, got about an hour and a half till shooting light. Let's see if we can get this up and ready. Got all kinds of evergreen limbs on that trailer. <laughs> Oh man, we just got done working our butts off. It is right at shooting light here. And uh, we got our first group of uh, darks here checking us out. Like always here in Kansas, you gotta, you gotta deal with the darks. You gotta pick your shots. You gotta be very, very, very smart. But we are in the old A-frames. What, what do you got there? You got some oil? Your gun gonna jam today? Oh, I'm juicing her up today. Uh, oh, good luck there, pal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got the old e-collar working though. Check it out. We got all the full bodies and all the dive bomb white socks out. And over back yonder, we do have a couple flyers. Just a flying. Well, here's some of the first birds to the field here. They've already passed over us once. And I'll tell you what. When these birds see it for the first time, they lock up from far, far, far away. So it's looking good so far. They're liking it. I mean, we can shoot right there. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Those are blues. I know I'm at right above them. There's four. Oh, dude, we're going to have to shoot these. Rack these. Right above us. Nice. One, two, three, four. <laughs> well, they came over the top and they stalled on us. We had to go. That was good. That's what we got to do right there, boys. Oh, hey, did your gun mess up there, champ? <laughs> what happened to the lube idea? Didn't work. Check it out. Oh, my God. First birds down. Look. Touching. Touching. Bling, bling. <laughs> First birds down, banded snow, baby. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. Oh yeah, boys. Oh, oh, get shoot these boys. Shoot them, shoot them, shoot them, shoot them. Good shoot, boys. Oh, they're liking it. Oh, they're liking it. One band. It's only been five minutes. Oh shoot, shoot, That's shoot. Whole day. Woo -hoo. Oh, oh look. Oh, look another one. Oh my goodness, that looks pretty darn old. Band number 1847-48585. That looks old. It's pretty worn. Look how thin that look how thin that bad boy is. I mean it is. <laughs> we were out there picking him up and a group of Rossies came and just gave it up. I was like, shoot him boys! There were four of us out of the blind that already it's already a done deal it's already a good day holy smokes well we got a volley half white half dark this is when it gets sketchy boys this is when we don't shoot oh they're coming boys it's getting loud yeah but well pretty nice when you've already fulfilled the day with a banded snow 
This this single here is just eating it up. Right here, right here, these eight. Yep. These first group. Yep. <laughs> this is a good group right here. Tell me if anybody sees darks in it. These are blues. Those are blues. Okay. Yep. Go! Take him! There we go. One, two, three. That's all right. Three birds. That's good. That was a, I mean, that's a 40, 45 yard that's shot. That's how you got to do this. That's, that's how you got to take him. Now, guys Thank that are you. watching, yeah. if you guys are going to say, hey, you're sky busting, well, you've never been snow goose hunting. If you can shoot him at 45 yeah. yards, that's a good shot. This is working. Woo! Look, that, those are all blues. Those are all blues. We should rack them. Oh, we should have shot. Yeah, they like it. Look at this guy. He's loud. <laughs> oh, they love it. We're going to have to. Hopefully, the white gets away from the dark here. Oh my goodness. Well, here's the snows that we've been waiting on and they are getting down extraordinarily fast. Oh boy. Look at this. Whoa. <laughs> they absolutely are loving it. What you think, boy? Huh? Oh, they're all white. Oh my goodness. Okay, get ready. Get ready. Here we go. Here we go, boys. We're going to rack off every shell you got in your gun. Hold on, hold on, don't cuss. Here we go, boys. They're still coming. They're still coming. They're going down, dude. Yes, we should. No, 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 no. Now. Go, 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 go. There we go. We waited a little long. We waited way too long. Waited a little long. Yeah. Darn it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. eight down. That was good, though. Another one just fell. Yep, waited just a hair long. They loved it, though. Goodness. Look at the handfuls Wade has. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we still got, these are, might be new birds coming. I'm telling you what, didn't have to go to Arkansas to kill them. Just stay at home, five miles away from the house and kill snows, darn it. Tell you what, the sound that snows down low, e-collar is a working. Um, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. <laughs> oh, the evergreen A-frames, I'm telling you. I, I believe in it. I really, really believe in them. They, they don't mind them there. Let's get in, boys. They're coming. Oh, here's a new big volley coming at us. One thing about this field, we are on the absolute X. These, uh, these birds are just loving it. I knew we'd have a decent commitment, but I didn't think we'd have this type of commitment. We're helping us. <laughs> Look at these birds. I mean, the commitment is just real. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh. They got down quick. They're really checking it out. They're liking it. Look at, them, look at them steady wings. Right when I say that, they start batting. Oh, here we go. Look at them. They're going to go, oh, we like this. We're about to get down for you. Look at them. They're cruising getting down. Oh, yeah. Those three right there are dragging them down. Hold on, I can't. It looks too good. Pull them over here. Come on. This is the approach, boys. Get ready. Uh. Take him! <laughs> Let her eat! <laughs> uh, I, I nailed one here. I took another slow shot and I was like, yak, 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 get rid of shells. Ah, uh, well, what do we kill? Two or three? Probably two or three is about it. Oh, there goes down another one. Another one's going down. That's a blue. Oh, Boom! He down. 
Look at this guy. You talk about a juvie. That is one dirty, dirty, dirty juvie. Goodness. Look at these darks. Just I'll loving it. These darks are just loving it. I'm telling you what. We've been just sitting here admiring these Canadas. Give it up. I no! <laughs> I don't know how uh, many birds we got behind us here. Here, but, let me, let me move uh, we got, a few. We got move. quite a few. Let me move a few here. Yeah, that's, it's pretty, the pile? pretty deep pile Hold there, on. bud. Oh, I ain't. Yep. Oh, there There's it is. The bottom. Yep. But what's awesome, we are getting into some juveniles. Look at this guy here. Got a little bit of gray on him. And then uh, this guy here. That's that dirty one I showed you earlier. Just dirtier than all get out. Then we got this blue here. He's He is decently mature. I mean, not real old, but... And then we got the Rossies. Uh, that big group of Rossies just gave it up. Little unicorn looking guy there. That big group of Rossies, they, I mean, they didn't even turn twice on us. They came to us and they got right down. That was the one we dumped, I don't know, four or five out of. Should have called it a hair earlier, but I can't complain. This, uh, this is, this is a darn good snow goose hunt. Two in front and two at top. I don't see the two. The two right in front here. I say we bang them if they do it. Oh yeah, we're we're taking them, boys. You want to shoot them? Try them. Go down. Got one of them. That was two expensive birds, but you know we did get one of them down. Yellow. The single's coming back around. The one that didn't die. Get ready, boys. <laughs> I heard it go click. Poor Bradley, dude. It's time for a new gun. Look at this. That's a volley of Canada's right there. Just a loving it. Holy smokes. Oh. Wow. Jiminy Christmas. A lot of birds in Kansas right now. I think everything's coming up from the south and just stalling here in Kansas. Uh, Nebraska's so cold, it's got a lot of ice and snow still, so all these birds are trying to push north and they are just stopping in Kansas. We got a lot. Ducks, snows, Canadas, specks, you name it, we got it. Well, all the Canadas are landing behind us in that green wheat field back there. There's a bunch in it. boy where are they at dude there's a big group coming that's a huge group look they're loving it i cannot believe how good these whites are loving it look at these two dude oh look at these two just loving it right here we could blast their beaks right off dude they love it i cannot believe that look at these four oh my goodness that whole big group needs to spin over yeah I think there's a big difference when that cloud, when the, when it's, when that sun's gone behind the clouds, they really, they turn right, on. Yeah. They really turn on when the, when the sun goes away. Oh, sure. here we go, boys. They're coming back. Shoot straight up! Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six! Woo! Six down, baby! It's not bad. Yeah, he's flying there. <laughs> I'm running. We got some cripples out here. Come here, boy. You ain't getting away. I'm too fat for this. Oh, I'm way too fat. Oh, oh. See if I can hit him. Well, either I can't shoot or he's tough. Oh. He did! Woo! Oh, smokes. I'm tired. I'm tired. Uh, time out. I need a break. Uh, oh, I'm about to puke. I cannot believe how good this hunt is going, boys. No band. Woo! We have to have well over 20, 30 on the ground. Looking good. 
looking real good well we got three snows out front we haven't shot a gun for probably 45 minutes huh Canada's right above us there's always Canada's above us well it's right at nine o'clock we haven't shot a gun probably for an hour it's been an hour we've had nothing but new Canada's coming to the spread and loving it and us just drooling over them and watching them yep there's more specs but we do have over 30 birds on the ground I don't have a uh, clear number for you but we did a rough count over 30 on the ground i'm hoping what i was really hoping is that we could get some doubles some singles to do it all right i want to show you the spread here's the kill hole right here we got the e-collar right over here sorry if it's really loud and then there is the a-frame covered in evergreens i'm telling you the evergreen trick works but then, like I said, here's the edge of the kill hole. And then we do have a little family group out here that looks like they're walking into up to the big spread. But I wanted to show you the spread. It's all, We only have 60 dozen out. Most snow goose hunts, you have, I mean, 100, 140 dozen minimum. I think the big thing, guys, like I've been preaching, is getting out of those decoys. Laying in white, it can work sometimes. But when you can get out of them, you're going to have a lot more commitment. The birds are going to like it a lot more because you don't have human bodies laying on your back and they're like, what's that? And then decoys. So, it's working. Well, snow stopped uh, Snow stopped flying. They, uh, the commitment this morning was unreal. What do you think, Landon? Think it was a good one? Yeah, it was a good one. It was a darn good one. What are you doing there? You having troubles? Yeah. Those dive bombs giving you a mess? Come on, what are you dive doing, man? Step up your game. Look, you just gotta crack it down. Oh, there, there you go. go. There you go. There you go. What'd you think? I wanna do it again. I didn't think it was gonna be that good. That many adult birds coming down? Yeah. yeah. Unreal. It was awesome. For for you to be done snow goose hunting in a morning hunt by nine o'clock, you know it was good. But like you guys know, if you have snow goose hunting, you gotta take them high shots. You don't let them circle more than you have to. You gotta take those 40 yarders all the time. My e collar is going crazy. But we're going to pick this mess up. Only 60 dozen decoys. Yeah, to some people that's a lot. But for snow goose hunting, that is not much at all. But we're going to get the spread picked up. And uh, once we get back to the truck and warmed up a bit, we're going to look this band up on the internet when we're done. And we're going to see what how old this bird is and where he's from. What are you doing, man? You got a mess on your hands. Got it, man. Gee, many Christmas. I only shot one. You only shot one of those? Right here. Yeah, the banded one, huh? Ah, Storm. First bird she brought back was the band. Isn't that unreal? First bird on the ground. Very well could have been that banded bird. Crazy. Whew. Well, we're all picked up here. Got everything loaded up in the trailer. Check it out. Got all the full bodies in the seed sacks. I am loving those seed sacks for the full bodies. Those seed sacks make it so much easier. But let's check out the uh, the pile here. Here we are, not too shabby. Three blues, three decent looking blues. Look at this, juvie, I mean just extra juvied out. We got another juvie here, so not very many juvies that we shot, obviously. But this guy right here, there you are. Look at that, that's special, let me tell you what. But 28 birds, not bad at all. Good job, Storm. Good girl. Good girl. So on my last uh, my last video I uploaded, it was the hunting them like honkers. And it was only a two-man hunt. It was only me and Jordan. Well, this hunt, there was five of us, so there was a lot more hands on deck, and I, I messed up today. And how I messed up is I calculated way wrong. Earlier I told you guys that we had 60 dozen decoys out, and we actually, we only had right at we have probably right at 50 dozen probably 50 dozen total so not very much for a snow goose spread that actually worked my theory is guys and it's working it's actually working out my theory is is get out of them decoy i know that on younger birds a lot of times people I, i've always laid in the decoys for snow geese i've laid in white a bunch you guys have seen it but on these adults when you have primarily adults around you have to get out of them, and when you do, and when they like to the spread, you've seen it today, they absolutely love it. Not very often are you going to get snow geese to go feet down. And we did one time today, that big group of rushes that came that we ended up shooting a little too late on, those were going completely feet down. But uh, 
getting out of them decoys, brushing up that A-frame with the evergreens again, that's a trick. Y'all need to do it. Put, get to the center of a field, completely brush your A-frame over with the evergreens. The top completely canopied in. Get out of those decoys, y'all. Oh, well, we, uh, we're going to actually save our evergreens. You know how it's a struggle cutting evergreens. It's a struggle cutting a bunch of them. So we got a bunch of evergreens there and there. We're going to create a little pile back here. This is behind Jordan's place. We're going to save them for next time because during winter, these things ain't going to go bad. We can reuse them next time. So my guess this bird was banded in 07. It's a really old band. It might be older than that. What's your guess? What, what, how old is that bird? 11. 2011? 2011, yep. What's your guess? Uh, 2009. 2009? What's your guess? Mm, 10. 2010? So, 2007. We'll see who wins this. There we go. So, banded 720 of 2007, lesser snow goose, hatched in 2006 or earlier, and it's a male. Location banded 20 miles east of Winnisk, Ontario, Canada. I was right. I was. That was a guess. That was, that was a shot in the dark. Can't believe that. But born in 2006, banded in 07, and killed in 2019. 12 year old bird isn't that crazy to think of 12 year old bird we've literally only shot I don't know not very many snows this year no one's shot snows this year and one of them out of 28 birds this morning is banded 12 year old bird from Winnisk Ontario unreal man oh the old glory crazy not many times do you get to take a, a band off a of snow goose so rewarding man Oh man, finally home here. Hi there, Soph. Come here, Soph. Hi, Soph. You want to be a bird dog too, huh? Well, Soph just got a haircut. You know how them women are. They get haircuts and they start feeling all sorts of new. But amazing hunt. Uh, I definitely didn't think that we were going to shoot a band today. And on top of it, the birds decoyed amazing. I mean, most snow goose hunts, you're taking 60 yard shots. We took some far shots. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not lying. I will take a far shot on the snow and not feel guilty about it one bit. But what an amazing hunt. I mean, birds just wanting that field. A big part, two key factors of why this hunt went very good. A, the feed. We were on the X. That wheat field has been getting pummeled for a week straight. And actually what happened was yesterday, yesterday was a warm day. And what, it, what happened was it got sunny and it got almost up to 50 degrees. Today we have a cold front that's rolling back through and it's back to normal cold bitter conditions. But yesterday the birds switched up. There was only about a quarter of the amount of birds that went to that field yesterday. Yesterday evening that is and I was worried about today. I'm like man I hope that they still come and luckily they did. Just the, just the right amount of snows came. I'm glad that all of them that were there a few days ago didn't come because it seems like when there's a ton, when there's an absolute just I mean thousands upon thousands upon thousands above you it's hard to intrigue the really big groups there were two big groups that came and we intrigued them like crazy my favorite one was that big group of rossies those rossies went feet down in them decoys and we were just we we're shocked so we we're so let me find my words here we we're so shocked that them Rossies just gave it up and got down in them decoys so fast, we ended up calling the shot late on accident. So, you live and you learn. But if you guys are looking for snow goose gear, you know where to find it, duckswaterfowl.com. I will link all of our snow goose gear down in the description below. Go check it out if you want a hoodie. When you guys purchase something from ducks, it goes directly to supporting me and bringing you guys more videos. But thank you guys for being here. This was a very special one for me. I hope, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, get out of those decoys. So whatever you got to do to get out of them decoys, do it. And a big tip, evergreens on the A-frame. And a lot of evergreens. Completely TP it. I mean, canopy it, cover it, make it look like a green bush, and you're good to go. But we'll see you on the next one, guys. Thank you for the view. Thank you guys for being here every time I upload. I appreciate it. And if you haven't turned on the notifications, you need to. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace.